What's up, Film Jammers? So today we're going to show you how to create light rays or light beams when you're on set. If you've ever wanted to create those dramatic beams of light in your scenes, stick around. Are those your real tattoos? Well, you're about to find out, sucker. Film when I'm watching a movie and I see those delicious beams of light in a scene. Sometimes they are delicious. Yeah, it always evokes a visceral connection to the scene for me. Creating a beam of light can intensify the drama, heighten your scare, or even make the scene just a bit more epic. Mm. So today we're heading into the studio to see how it's done. Here's what you'll need to get started. A haze machine or hazer. A fog machine can also work, but a hazer will have a more consistent look. The hazer creates an atmosphere in the area you're shooting so that the light beams have something to travel through. Controlled lighting. To enhance the effect of the light beams, you'll need to minimize the light sources and other external lighting in the area you're shooting in. So try to black out windows or any other external sources of lighting you might have affecting your scene. A focusable light, like a Fresnel, will create the most dramatic rays of light. We'll be using an ARRI 650 watt tungsten Fresnel light. Your camera, really any camera should work. We're gonna be using a Canon C200 for this. Cool props and costumes, these always help. We have a really cool military case and wait a minute, is that why you have those tattoos? Shh, it's a secret. <gasps> so let's get started. We're in the studio now and we're starting to prep all of the different elements for the light rays. I'm gonna walk through each step of the process. Here we go. We've got the Steadicam set up. We're gonna do a nice move into the box here, and that's gonna be our kind of little action reveal shot. This is the hazer or the haze machine. This is one of the most important elements. It's gonna create that texture in the air that the light is gonna shine through to create those rays. We're gonna haze it up and get it going. Okay, so this is the ARRI 650 watt. It's a Fresnel light. It's gonna let us focus the light in a very direct path. So on the back of the light, we have a spot and a flood mode. We're gonna spot the light. So it's gonna be a very narrow beam of light. We've got a light panel one by one LED Astra here on standby. It could add a little fill to the scene. I'm not sure if we're gonna use it, but we got it here in case we do. Now there's a lot of ambient light from the house lights coming through right now. We're gonna kill those. So all we have left is our nice Fresnel light to give that direct beam of light. All right, well, we hope this tutorial was helpful. And remember, you can use this technique on both photos and videos. Ooh. Mmm. Go out and make some light rays on your next film. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments, and we'll see you next week. Nice. That's pretty good. Bite it with my teeth? Yeah, you gotta bite it with your teeth. I'm waving to my mom. She watches.